this is Tom and Paula Graves from Light of Christ Radio. We are here with stories of people who went seeking for the Lord and it changed their lives. These stories can give you and your group light for your journey of life. Today, we continue our series, Seeking the Lord Changes My Life, with the story of Asa from 2 Chronicles chapters 14 through chapter 16. But before we tell the story, we want to give you the context of the story. Last week, we learned about David, who eventually became king of Israel. Then Solomon, David's son, became king. But after Solomon's death, the nation of Israel was split into two countries, the northern country of Israel and the southern country of Judah. The northern kingdom refused to follow the Lord, and the southern kingdom struggled to follow God. Our story today is about the third king of Judah, the southern kingdom. The first two kings did not fully follow God, and the pagan idols and shrines were built throughout the nation. There was discord between the nations of Israel and Judah, and skirmishes occurred along the borders. When the people followed God, he had blessed them. When they followed other gods, they had struggles. Now that you have the context of the story, simply listen to the story as we tell it. Close your Bibles and try to picture yourself in the story. Listen carefully, because after the story is told, you'll be asked to retell the story. Don't worry. We think reading the Bible text is important, too. Be patient, and we'll get there. But for now, please simply close your Bibles and listen. And that brings us to a story from the Word of God. In the first ten years of Asa's reign, the country of Judah was at peace. Asa was a good king. He did things right in God's eyes. He got rid of the pagan altars and shrines, smashed down the sacred stone pillars, and chopped down the sex and religion groves. He told Judah to center their lives in God, the God of their fathers, to do what the law said and to follow the commandments. Because he got rid of all the pagan shrines and altars in the cities, Judah, his kingdom was at peace. Because there was no war, he was able to build up a good defense system in Judah. God kept the peace. Now Asa had a large army with courageous warriors, but the Ethiopians attacked with an even larger army. Asa realized they were outnumbered and began to pray. O Lord, no one but you can help the powerless against the mighty. Help us, O Lord, our God, for we trust in you alone. It is in your name that we have come against this vast horde, O Lord. You are our God. Do not let mere men prevail against you. So the Lord defeated the Ethiopians and they fled. Asa and his army were able to take much plunder. Then the Spirit came of God came upon a prophet, and he went out to meet King Asa as he was returning from battle. Listen to me. Asa and the people of Judah, the Lord will stay with you as long as you stay with him. Whenever you seek him, you will find him. But if you abandon him, he will abandon you. For a long time, you didn't know God or have instruction about him. But... Whenever your ancestors were in trouble and turned to the Lord, the God of Israel, and sought him out, they found him. During those dark times, it was not safe to travel. There was conflict between nations and cities. But as for you, be strong and courageous, for your work will be rewarded. When Asa heard this message from the prophet, he took courage and removed even more detestable idols from the land. He repaired the temple and then called the people together in Jerusalem to renew a covenant with God. They promised to follow God, gave many sacrifices, and worshipped their Lord. As Asa spiritually cleaned the country, he even deposed his mother from her throne because she had built an obscene image of a sex goddess. Unfortunately, he didn't get rid of the local sex and religion shrines, but he was well-intentioned. His heart was in the right place, loyal to God. Later in his reign, Israel again attacked Judah. This time, Asa took money and paid the king of Aram to attack Israel. This distracted the king of Israel and brought an end to the attack against Judah. At that time, another prophet came to King Asa and told him, Because you have put your trust in the king of Aram instead of in the Lord your God, you missed your chance to destroy the army of the king of Aram. Don't you remember what happened to the Ethiopians? At that time, you relied on the Lord, and he hardened them handed them over to you. The eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. What a fool you have been. From now on, you will be at war. Well, Asa became so angry with this prophet for saying this that he threw him into prison and even put him in stocks. 
At that time, Asa also began to oppress some of his people. In the 39th year of his reign, Asa developed a serious foot disease. Yet even with the severity of his disease, he did not seek the Lord's help, but turned only to his physicians. So he died in the 41st year of his reign, and the nation had a great funeral in his honor. And this is a story from the Word of God. Now that you've heard this story, try to retell it from what you heard. Then read the text. Discussion questions are found in the Show More section below this video. It is our prayer that these stories of how seeking the Lord changes lives will change your life. May you seek the Lord and be blessed. Thank you.